are very complex. Again, in this continuation of our uh, introduction of complex number, in this move, again, I will continue here for this article. I will recall our definition of complex number. Third, A is equal to A plus IB if our number is in this form, where A and B, these are the real numbers and i is equal to under root of minus 1. Then this number, we are knowing this a is a real part, and this b, b is called imaginary part. Again, we are knowing that if a is a 0, then that is a purely real number. And if B is equal to Z, then Z is purely imaginary. If Z is equal to, sorry, A is equal to Z, then this is a purely imaginary. And if B is equal to Z, purely. Okay. My, this Z, a is equal to A plus IB. This is my complex number. This A is a real part and B is in my hand. Shall we denote this number in this way? If I would like to plot a graph of this complex number, that's why I will write here this is my x axis and this is my y axis. On x-axis, I will take the real part and on y-axis, I will take the imaginary part of our z. This is my z complex number. What is this complex number? Real part, I will take on x-axis and b, that is the imaginary part, I am taking on y-axis. Now, depends on sign, we will get here quadrant and we will get position number means here if we are denoting this number on a real x-axis and y-axis that means we'll get a coordinates this is our coordinate a b any complex number if we have to plot then we can represent in coordinate now this is our x coordinate and this is our y coordinate a real part we are denoting on x-axis and b imaginary part we are denoting on we take A and B both on right here. This A and B. This is my point. This is my point. I will join here. The origin. I will join here. And A. A part is here. Actually, my axis. And we'll get this A distance. This is our A distance. So A distance. Then I'll write this distance. Or B from there. Yes. Representation of complex number is any complex number is given that equal to A plus I B or X plus I Y. Plot this real part on X axis and imaginary part on y-axis. And then we'll get position. If I will join this, then we'll get a position vector. Or this is a distance between origin and this point. And I will denote this as the z complex number. This point, our coordinate, or I will write here in this else, a plus i. Now remember that if this bad complex number, I can write here A plus IB. And remember that when we are plotting this, then we are writing A and B in coordinate. 
because b is nothing but our imaginary on x axis we are taking i i b where 1i 2i 3i and so on but on x axis we are taking a real numbers and y axis we are taking imaginary we are taking in terms of 1 2 is n is 1 minus and here i 2i 3i and so on on negative side we write here n s i minus 2i and using even value of this or complex number we can plot here and this is called geometrical representation of Remember that to represent our complex real number on x axis and imaginary part on x and use this we will write here I, again we will write here number in a by graph suppose I have a complex z is equal to one plot this is x axis this is our y axis now remember y axis nothing but imaginary axis imaginary because we are taking imaginary form here this is origin here is one two three and minus one more here this is i y and minus I, two I, and so I minus two I, one plus two I, one plus two I. This number here is one and here is two. I like it. You can divide by coordinate also. One comma. First of all, situate one comma two coordinate, and then we will get. If I will join this position, get this vector, and then we will get complex numbers here. To one plus two one. in behind complex number we can show coordinates. This is our complex number. and depends on this real and imaginary part. Both real and imaginary parts are positive. Both are positive. Then this complex number lies in first quadrant. This first lies in the first quadrant. And this total, this total entire, this form means here first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Here, This is our first quadrant, second, third, and fourth quadrant. All these quadrants entirely becomes a complex plane. Entirely becomes a complex plane. If our complex number is given, it lies in anywhere. Take here. In this, uh, which lies again, complex number which lies in anywhere in this entire plane. I will take out a one example here. If my complex number z is equal to 1 minus 3r, again, this lies in very easy to situate this. To write what is the coordinate behind this, real part is 1 and imaginary part is minus 3. Real part is 1 and imaginary part is minus 3. So we can write roughly using the 1 comma 3. Lies in 4 dot that not equal to 1. Texas. Next, I will take here another example. That 1 
equal to minus one plus two. Ah, where this lies? Ah, minus one from you. Minus one. Ah, behind this coordinate is minus one two, and here is some two. Right, this can become that one. Here this coordinate is minus one. I okay, will take here the 2 equal to minus 2 minus 2i and this lies in both are okay, here both are negative minus 2 minus 2 here is minus 2 suppose here is minus 2i and, and this will get here one in it minus 2 comma 2 will join and then we'll get two minus two. I'll take here particular this example. That is equal to minus three i, where this point is to it. Complex number. This is plane, entire z plane. X axis due to x and y axis, y is imaginary axis. We are getting a z plane, and here minus 3 minus 3 is somewhere on negative and this is point on the coordinate x similarly we will get here z is equal to 3i z equal to 3i at this point i will write here 3i again if i will write here z is equal to 2 z equal to 2 only for positive x axis and z is equal to minus 2 again this this number is on a this is called representation of here of this uh, representation of complex number and in next part we'll discuss about a algebra of a complex